This is exactly right. I'm Barbara Gray, and I got my SAG screeners in the mail, but it was just a picture of what my tits will look like in 20 years. <laughs> I'm Brandy Posey. <laughs> <laughs> and I wonder... <laughs> I'm Brandy Posey, and I wonder if Bob, we add a baby, it's a boy's teenage son, hates him yet. <laughs> I'm Tess Barker, and if you can't handle me on my coffee, you don't deserve me on my weed. And this is Lady to Lady. Can you keep a secret? Neither can we. Hello. We got Barbara Brandy, and of course there's Tess. We got a show for everyone that's the fucking best. Come on, baby. It's time to hang out with your favorite ladies. Ladies to lady, ladies to lady. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the show. Oh, my God. Thirsty <laughs> Thursday. Yeah. In Lady to Ladyland. It's Wednesday where you are. <laughs> yeah. Just casual time traveling. Yeah. Um, we are so fucking excited oh for today's God, we have show. Such a good show lined up. Uh, we're gonna, but first of all, if you're listening to this today on Wednesday the 16th, you should come to our show tonight at the Hollywood Improv. Oh my yes. God. We, we have, there. who do we have? Maria, Bammy, Maria Bamford. Maria Bamford, Guy Branham. Guy Branham. Uh, Ryan Nemeth. Ryan uh, Nemeth, resident... Hunk, hunk. Resident hunk. <laughs> Resident lady to lady hunk. He's <laughs> going to be giving out pizza possibly. And yes. Spoiler yeah. alert. Also, he has a uh, he has a book. Go find it. Oh, yeah. He has a book all about how to get his hot body. Yeah. Not like get it. I'm sure you can just get it. You could probably get it to too, make though. it to yeah. manufacture. Your make own. one of your own. Just make your own hot body. You know, right. I, would, I would support stem cell research if it was just about making hot. I still actually, I already do, but <laughs> I only, I, only, <laughs> only in this way. In <laughs> conjunction with the other reasons that I support it, I think we should be using it to make hot bodies. <laughs> make yeah. hot boys and then grow a yeah. couple of extra ears in the back being cut off so you're just multitasking. Exactly. Yeah, I think it's good. I would um, grow some ears if. Just right? Cat, just right now. <laughs> yeah, just help somebody. I don't know. Yeah, I'd grow some ears on my back for yeah. somebody else. Why not? I think that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, also, we have a uh, a special thing that we want to do for like an end of the yes. end of the year kind of uh, present to Planned Parenthood because they've had a hell of a year and I we're know. all big supporters of them. Mm-hmm. Um, we are recording a special episode. Um, that if you donate uh, $10 or more to Planned Parenthood and then you email us the receipt to lady to lady at maximumfund.org, you can get a link to that episode. Yes, and we are going to be recording commentary yeah. of us watching, you guessed it, Magic, Magic Mike, Mike XXL. XXL. I bet they thought we were going to say Citizen Kane. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be watching the movie and doing commentary in, on it with one of our good friends, Alan Strickland Williams, who's yes. never seen the movie before. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, yeah, if you donate $10 or more to Planned Parenthood by the end of the year, by December. 31st yeah email us your receipt at lady to lady at maximumfund.org and they're doing it they're doubling their yeah. donations at, by the end of the year too so yeah so if you donate ten dollars it's actually twenty dollars and that all goes towards you know taking care of ladies and our goal is a thousand dollars but you know we'll go for more than that yeah, yeah. We we'll take that. more let's make it rain on those birth control pills <laughs> <laughs> yeah so let's help, help out Planned Parenthood you guys and uh yeah we're great people that's all I have to we're say we're really okay. good people <laughs> do you know who else is a good person who our guest today. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Uh, <laughs> wow. You guys know him from films like Adventures in Babysitting and Dazed and Confused. And, of course, uh, from a million Broadway shows, including originating the role of Mark on Rent. I can't even say it. I'm so excited. Sorry. <laughs> um, he's also on, been on in Rent. On Rent. In <laughs> Rent. See? In rent. I'm too <laughs> nervous. Uh, he's in Your Good Man, Charlie Brown. He's currently touring. Touring? Oh, my God. <laughs> He's, oh He's currently touring with Adina Menzel in the fantastic show If Then, which we saw with him in yesterday. Did I get all those No, we saw with did. him in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh. Anthony Rapp, everyone. Oh. Let's just say his name. One of the weirder introductions ever. I know. We, sorry, we're excited. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> He's super creeped out already. Oh. That's kind of our our go to. That's our mo. It's <laughs> creeping. Yeah, but we're bubbly while we're creeping. I like it. Okay. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we yeah, so we went to the show last night and it was funny they had um so the point of the show is kind of like the decisions you make which direction it will lead you in. Yeah. And they had a board. I don't know if you guys have seen the board that they put up like with people putting their their uh their post-its. Post-its. little post-its of, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah. If the the big moment big or small moments in your life that you look back and you realize that if you hadn't done or had or had not done one thing the, the difference that it made in your life. Yeah. I've You're seen right. that. Yeah. So do you guys does the cast read those? Uh, I've seen a couple of them over the, and then there was a, we did a little campaign when we were on Broadway of uh, like people were sending in like um, stories and then there was this really cool 
new media organization that was making mm-hmm. cool videos of it, like reading out the, oh, like, that's you know, neat. so that's like cool. putting, putting together like Tumblr things or, you know, there was a whole array of stuff. Tumblr stuff, yeah, that yeah. general Tumblr yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. We were reading some of them, um, and they were really neat. But some of them, <laughs> some of them, my personal favorite. Uh-oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> if my friend Lynn hadn't gotten sick, then I wouldn't have gotten a ticket to this great show. Well, but that's true. <laughs> What's yeah. wrong with yeah, that? I mean, that's, nice. just, that's not that. Bad. I just like she was just wishing yeah, sickness fuck my on her friend. friend. Yeah, and then also the death of my brother Ben. Sad face. I'm like, that's not really an. <laughs> that, that's if just then. a. And that situation. just was the whole. That was, that that was the whole it. thing. Yeah, that's it. That's all it says. Yeah. <laughs> just the sad face at the end of it with an emoji. Uh, and then we also uh, Barbara wrote a really awesome. Oh no, line. this is so. I just wrote if I had never said Idina's name as Adele Dazim, I would still have an acting career. And and I, put a, I put a frowny face. Yeah, and we signed a John Travolta. Yeah, I didn't put his name. I thought everyone would know. Oh. Yeah, you, you know, know. So. But that was one of the best things that ever happened to Adina. So I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. Didn't feel that way when it happened. And then, <laughs> but and I mean, there's no such, it's such an innocent way to get like, a, you know, as they say, any press Go is good. Yeah, there was whatever. no, yes, there was no premeditated like <laughs> focus group led, yeah. you know, <laughs> no. marketed decision about that. It just, and then it was like the lead story on mm-hmm. every outlet the next day. Of it was course. crazy. Barbara there are Ma- things happening in the world, but yeah. that was the lead story. Barbara that Ma- happens a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. 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 I know. Okay. Barbara made a really awesome vi- video that went viral as Adele Dazim. Oh, yeah. I oh, played yeah. her. I just said, like, nonsense words to the Frozen yeah. song. It was fun. It's a really yeah. funny video. Yeah. yeah. Okay, um, so look it up. <laughs> anyway, so we're, well, yeah. whatever. That, that is what it is. So, but... as lady, I'm curious, as lady empowering ladies, uh-huh. which is what you, I think, are, right? Am I, I guess getting, yeah. Am I reading sure. that correctly? Sure. Sure. Yeah. 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 We love ladies. What's your take on the frozen phenomenon as, you know, as a lady thing? Oh, I'm curious. I haven't really gotten to talk to, like, yeah. You know, oh, yeah. That's... I mean, I guess I haven't thought about it. I feel like I'm not super qualified to speak on this topic because I haven't seen the entire movie. Uh-huh. Really? Uh-huh. Oh. Um, I will say that I have a niece who's obsessed with. Elsa's mm-hmm. like her favorite, yeah. you know, and obsessed with all of Disney princesses and yeah. the Disney princess phenomenon. I'm a little grossed out by. Yeah, but yeah. but do you see how the Elsa thing is yes. a little different? Yeah, no, yes. it's definitely and, different. And so the second part, I think that I just know that Elsa's story arc isn't is more you know about her growth as a character and not about her getting married to someone. So I'm pleased yeah. to see that, that yeah. she's a lot of little girls' favorite princess. Yeah. and also it's like sisters having each other's back ultimately. Yeah, yeah. and I I liked it a lot. Like of. Of the Disney movies that I've seen, you know, that's it's definitely one of my favorite but, ones. But do you think that that's communicating to these three-year-olds? I mean, on some, is it is it like a subconscious yes. level? I think it's a subconscious thing. Yeah. yeah. I think kids are getting it. Well, I know for sure, because also my niece told her mom that she wanted to be a boy because she mm-hmm. wanted to be able to fix things like her, like my brother. Uh-huh. Yeah. And so I'm like, yeah, of course that she's picking this up that we're showing her Snow White and Sleeping Beauty. Because in yeah. her head, these people that she idolizes don't know yeah. how to fix shit. Yeah. yeah, they don't know how to do their own thing. So yeah, yeah. I think it def- that sort of stuff. I yeah. think definitely gets. Yeah, that's interesting. Communicated. Yeah, you can definitely anyway. pick that well, stuff. Well, th- thanks, ladies, for indulging. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, of course. I think it gets in there on definitely. Oh, on, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. It's just like representation in like films with kids. If they're not just seeing like the same, like even a cartoon, if it's just not yeah, the like tropes. you know, the old yeah. Tropes. yeah. I think. I think it's getting in there, mm. hopefully. Yeah, yeah, because that's really your first introduction to story, right? Like, that's the first three-act kind of, like, stories you see. Sure. Are, yeah. Are movies like yeah, that. Yeah, and your models. I mean, I don't mean, yeah. like, like mm-hmm. you know, Christine, <laughs> I mean, whatever. I can't think of models. Christine name Brinkley. Right that's my Yeah, <laughs> Christine Brinkley. I know. Yeah. It's like, I'm of a certain age. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, yeah, yeah, it's not that. Yeah, she's not a swimsuit model. Mm-mm. Although she's shapely still. Yeah. You know, that Elsa. That blonde yeah. Elsa. <laughs> she well, I mean, like it wouldn't be a Disney movie if they there wasn't you know <laughs> unrealistic standards of beauty. In the yeah, princess. once we get a fat princess, then I'm in. Yeah, you I know? mean, it's yeah. it's <laughs> the definition of progress is progressing. So yes. you know, it's yes. I think it's a great step away from the traditional Disney princess. All definitely right, cool. moving in the right direction. Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, cool. yeah you know, mm-hmm. she's still a princess though. I mean, she's I mean, still a princess. You know what I mean? Like, like why can't one of them just be an engineer? Yeah. <sighs> is there any because, that aren't a princess? No, that's part of the thing. That's the yeah, thing. that's the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, because they're not going to... Belle but, wasn't but, a princess, but, right? Uh, Belle was just a... Everything girl. I've heard, though, is mm-hmm. that John Lasseter, like, he, he was, he's been very active and aware of, like, trying to... to you, you have to honor some of the 
the the traditions of Disney, mm-hmm. but continuing to push the envelope. So he's very yeah. He's he's on board with that. Yeah, it's know, a good so. bridge between the two of them. And I would say succeeding. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. yeah. Well, also today you can't get away with with the old stuff anymore. Like yeah. people will call you out hardcore. So you gotta. Really. You can though, because little girls still do watch all of those movies. They still want. I'm saying if you make products. a new one, I'm saying making I, new right. ones, they're p- much more conscious. Yeah, of, yeah, you yeah. Know. yeah, yeah. I think it's a good. It's definitely like a more successful step than Brave was, you know, because like Brave didn't is like the least popular. Um, I hated Pixar Brave, movie. and I love Pixar. You hated I, Brave. You hated. Yeah, it? I thought I it was really boring. Oh. It really like yeah. Oh I, no! Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like it a lot, but I understand why that would. I get. I kind of get why it wouldn't have hit as hard as as the rest of them have. Yeah. But I feel like Frozen kind of like took some of the failures of Brave and kind of like refigured them in a way that's like, okay, cool. This is more of like a step in between these two things sure. to get you in that direction. Sure. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it's like you know the uh, um, hesitant princess is like a cool. Yeah, she That's, doesn't. Yeah, because that yeah. that gives them more of like that gives them like a superhero arc, you know. If like be, if right. that be, you know, because then it's like you have somewhere to go as opposed to being like, oh, I'm just gonna be pretty. It's like I don't want to be pretty. I want to be more than that. Yeah. But then you can make take that the princessness in in your own terms. Then there's no thing wrong with being a princess. Sure. Yeah. Right. So I feel all yeah. the time. Yes, yeah. queen. <laughs> I don't like. <laughs> I don't. I, I. I don't know if I'm allowed to. Say, like, I feel weird saying it. I feel like I'm doing something wrong whenever I say yes. Yes. I was being facetious. <laughs> okay. Okay. It just, I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> I mean, I, I do say yes, Queen, but in that instance, I was being facetious. Well, you're much bubblier than I am. Yeah. Like, I mean, I very, can drop a yes, very queen. I can drop a yes, Queen, okay. very organically. Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> very good. Very good. Yeah. Anthony, Have you ever... speaking of influencing people. Oh God. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, so do you even like for people like Barbara and I? Right. We were in high school when Rent came out. Uh-huh. What is it like for you, like originating a role that like just had such a big impact on like musical theater? Um, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean that's you're I like mean, it, it sucks. But it's uh, it's you know the the truth is also like we were doing it eight shows a week, so it's like a really intense like very focused life that we're living day to day to day to day mm-hmm. for many many months on end. So. I had I had some experience of knowing that at the time because people would say really cool things to me or write me an email. Right, or, but you're so in the middle of like yeah, in so the middle of it. But it's so but it, the, and the piece itself I really believed in with my whole heart. So just everything felt like yes, this is appropriate to what we are a part of. If that makes any sense. So sure. it, it wasn't about me. It was about all of it. If that. If that makes sense. Did you sense. could you tell that you were in such a big thing before it oh, even started? Yeah, or, yeah. You know? well, I was. I could tell that I was a part of something really special, but I didn't. You know, you, there, you just never know if it's going to hit, if it's going to make, if it's going to earn the accolades and earn the success mm-hmm. that you feel it deserves. You know, because that's right. Sort of a timing issue or a luck issue or a critics issue. I mean, there there are many factors, and yeah. it's changed now. I mean, the internet really. <laughs> You know, again, I'm dating myself. When we opened, the, the, the internet was in many ways in its infancy. And it did, there were like communities that built up around rent on the old AOL chat boards initially. And and then there were like rent secrets. You remember those things were, you know, like, she didn't, she I, wasn't I, a, I'm not a we were yeah, she's not <laughs> No, but I mean, yeah, the, yeah. like secrets sites yeah. where they're okay. like fans of things that oh, then post, right. like they hear rumors and they post oh, the yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're anonymous. Like that was early yeah. days, you know, mm-hmm. but now things are much more like they can sort of take on their own life and spread and yeah. viral stuff. All that stuff happens in a different way, I guess yeah. you could say. Um, so but when I was doing the early versions of it, I knew mm-hmm. the material itself was really fantastic. But again, you just never know if it's going to be met with what it deserves because many there are many things over the years that have not been that have not had that i understand that because yeah i think we all living here and like you know doing comedy and whatever you see people who do something very special and it is so much about the timing or something that might not hit and Mm -hmm. that you as you you go on you realize that that's just so important and you can't really do anything about it i think and i think it's a combination of that and then you're all there are also those things where you do just have that like gut feeling about where you're like yeah that's gonna that one probably will be okay, or like that really will be successful. Well, or... I I th- I would t- I was telling people like so I did the workshop in '94, and then and that was only ten performances, and then a year later, a little over a year later, is when we did the, the, the what became the Off Broadway and Broadway production, and it's actually literally almost twenty years to the day that we're recording this. That was oh, the wow. first day of our rehearsal. December nineteenth was wow. our first day of our first oh, rehearsal wow. in '95. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. yeah. For uh, for what became the Off Broadway, so. Um, but in the meantime, I would tell, like, uh-huh. the words I would use to, dis- like, I would say, 
you know, if you were my friend and we were like hanging out for coffee and like, what are you up to? I was like, well, I'm going to do the show that I did a thing of it. I think it's going to be, I think it could make kind of a splash. Like mm-hmm. I thought it had the chance to like do, do something, but I never would have thought it would be a mainstream across the board phenomenon on the cover of Newsweek, et cetera, all that stuff. Yeah. Tony winning Broadway. No, mm-hmm. I thought it was going to be like this downtown thing. Mm-hmm. Just know, for like people who are very into seeing shows sure. but not because it not was everyone. really you know it seems in a way crazy now because mm-hmm. of all the kinds of material that's out there but it was it was edgy for its time oh my god yeah and well i think that's like particularly for people that were when we were teenagers listening to it, especially if you were like a theater nerd growing up listening to like andrew lloyd weber sure. and shit like that this was like just the opening line of that the, that guitar line with yeah. the december 24th you know it's like this is unlike anything i've ever heard before yeah so it didn't seem like it was likely that it would be you know a Across the board, mainstream smash on any level that would seem ridiculous. But now, well, nothing back you ever want to do, you want to be like, yeah, this is going to be huge. Yeah, you can't course. really say. But, that. Well, the, I guarantee you the people who are in the Force Awakens know it's going to be huge. <laughs> yeah, they're in it. You well, know? yeah, right, that's true. Right. So, uh, um, where was I say you interrupted me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, so I again, I knew that I thought that it was going to be great, but no, I would never have said. But I, I, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, looking back on it, it's the kind of th- it's 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 like physics mm-hmm. that the there was a vacuum, there was a need that no one knew was there mm-hmm. for this kind of event in musical theater for theater to have to represent the real world on stage with this kind of music. And when it came, then it's like when it wherever when, you know in physics, if you poke a hole in that dam the dam mm-hmm. bursts and water rushes in and so that was yeah. all that energy was around partly because of that same thing's happening with hamilton right now mm-hmm. it's the same thing yeah that's what i was thinking because i was watching an interview with lynn manuel miranda where he was saying like i want to create something that no one's ever seen before and that feels like the same exact it is thing. yeah and I've, you know i've been i'm gonna brag mm-hmm. i've seen it three times oh my god <gasps> that connection. So I've literally considered like flying to New York, <laughs> pawning something. I don't know. Like, I have a I've friend never who flew just to go. Yeah, just yeah. Like it, yeah. I, I have haven't to. since rent really had that experience of like yeah. I can't stop listening to this. It's extraordinary. Yeah, it's and, and my fr- I had a friend who is she's a documentary filmmaker. She's a serious minded, not fandom person. Who in 1996, when you know she had seen Rent and she loved it, when the recording came out, she called me one day. And she's like, I'm at work. I cannot stop. Li- she's like, I think I feel like there's something wrong with me. Yeah, I can't that's stop. That's how I to feel it. about yeah. That's how I feel. That's how I felt yeah. about Hamilton. So I feel like now <laughs> I, I like I sort of understood. I appreciated it at the time, and I was like, that isn't that cool? But now I know for sure because I'm the same way with Hamilton. Yeah, um, that is interesting because yeah, of course you can't do it with the thing that you're already in, but no, no, now you can no. associate but those same emotions with a new show. When you're in a show, I mean, I don't. My experience in a musical <laughs> stopped when I was like 18. But when, I know like when I was in a play, like there'd be certain lines that we would sing, you know, that would get stuck in our heads from rehearsal and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Like what were the lines like that from Rent that the cast was like always had stuck in their heads? Oh, I, I can't speak for everybody. I mean, it's really it's really more like when you're in rehearsal and you're learning the song and it's just sort of the song kind of just is in the back of your mind all the time or any particular like hook. So it wasn't any one thing. But once you're doing the show eight times a week, it doesn't really occur anymore. Yeah, I'm sure. It sort of happens at the theater and then it's sort of gone. But like, I'm having that with Hamilton as a a (laughs) fan and listener. What are your Hamilton lines? uh, It just depends, you know. Yeah. I I do a little bit of my Lynn Manuel impression. Let's hear it. (laughs) I am not throwing away my shot. (laughs) I am not throwing away my shot. Hey, yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. Oh, shit. That was awesome. You guys kind of have similar voices. Yeah, I, I, when I first listened to it, it reminded me of your voice a lot. Yeah, I've seen you know folks on the interwebs have said similar things sometimes. Yeah. It's kind of cool. So, I mean, <laughs> get in <laughs> there. As cool. as oh, I can't play Hamilton. No, that has to be I know. not a, a non-white person. I know, but yeah. I don't know. Maybe. I'm all for that. I'm <laughs> yeah. all for that not being a non-white person It's so forever. cool. That's what's that so neat cool. about it, too. I had this whole discussion with somebody about that yesterday. We were talking about the movie Trumbo, and I don't know. He was like, do you think it would have taken away if if like a person of color had played trumbo and i was like maybe i would have thought that before but now after hamilton where it just doesn't matter that doesn't matter yeah, well i think it matters that they aren't white well it, I mean, it, that's it just does, like one I, of the in many my head i'm not distracted yeah. yeah for any you know what i mean it's you know because yeah. film has all you know film is not it film is representational in a way like the if you film a coffee cup it's a coffee cup always unless you're doing some weird surreal avant-garde film mm-hmm. but like on theater in theater a coffee cup could, in certain productions could be anything you know yeah. what i mean and so theater 
it, it's by yeah, nature. Yeah, film has to be a lot more. Well, it doesn't necessarily have to be, but that's what it's been. So it'll be interesting to see moving forward if people are adventurous with these ideas and casting. That know. is interesting. Yeah. And I mean, I think Hamilton at this point is such a cultural phenomenon that I could see it crossing over. Into I think film it will and influence in terms of how yeah, that so. came about. That kind I mean, of it's thing. so important. I, I, I'm, I am aware of my privilege. I'm a white man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so tired of driving down Sunset Boulevard and seeing billboard after billboard of yeah. nothing but white people in mm-hmm. films and TV. I, it's crazy to me. It's in just, 2015. It's it boring. makes me want to vomit. Yeah. I'm serious. It's not fair to anyone. None of us want to see that. I know. No. It's true. <laughs> no, it's just like boring and whitewashed. Yeah. And it's like, okay, cool. Give me more stories. Yeah. Teach me something new. Yeah. I would like to hear more. Yeah. That's why like like Master of None is, is doing really well, too, for the same reason, I think. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what's cool is like it's showing that you don't... Ha- it, it's showing that people want something different now. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, people are eating this up, so obviously they don't yeah. want the same old shit anymore. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh my God, a, a white guy doesn't... When I have a full time job, <laughs> oh, oh, he's lazy. <laughs> oh, look at all those jobs he can get, but he doesn't want them. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, tired That's... of those stories. Yes. Um, how many scarves have you been given <laughs> since? Mm. Like, are you? No, I'm not given scarves. I have signed a lot of scarves that people okay. have and wear. Gotcha. I wasn't them, sure that if... either they bought or made or had made or okay. got from a website the people making them you know. right. cool. okay yeah. do you have any weird yeah any like weird fan gifts or anything you can think of gifts um no uh, no i mean th- they're really lovely like in japan i've gotten to work in japan a couple times i've got mm-hmm. they give gifts all the time but they're okay. like nice gifts like yeah um they have these cool hanker printed you know graphic printed handkerchiefs that mm-hmm. that you could use as oh, like cool. a napkin or mm-hmm. like a a head scarf or i don't even not that i use head scarves but you know yeah. um <laughs> Uh, but you could sock, you know, toe yeah. socks, like the the single yeah. toes, like where the big toe has a. Uh, I don't know, know like, about those. <laughs> no, not, like not all toes. Oh, just the just big, just the big toe, because like they for like they, their sandals. Yeah, for sandals. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, yeah. okay. Because yeah, I think I like I'm those. anti the all toes. Yeah, I am too. Yeah, yeah. mostly. Yeah, all I'm toes are like pre. 17 like before yeah. when you turn 17 yeah. you, you can't like, buy those anymore no, but the single a, toe is in yeah. the tradition of the, okay the yeah. culture where you are because yeah, then so. you can wear it with like a sandal sure. yeah. which i'm super into yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sure. just all the toes is, is rough yeah. it gives me the heebie-jeebies i don't want to see you being able to like tap tap your toes like a raptor like that's not something i think i definitely gave socks. some of those all toe ones as gifts <laughs> oh me too you're cool <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> the, I've gotten a doll or two. The, oh, as yeah? I see your creepy oh, dolls. Oh, yeah, our creepy yeah. Yeah. dolls. I've been given a marked doll or two in my nice. day. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, that's cool. Knitted. It's similarly similarly knitted. Maybe it's the same person. <laughs> Maybe it might be. I hope so. <laughs> I feel like I feel like our Venn diagrams like Do you think uh, so? I they wonder. probably cross a little bit, yeah. 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 Maybe in dolls. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sure a lot, our, a lot of our listeners <laughs> are like our, our age and you like know musicals. theater. That's true. Yeah. I would, I would think so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have a weird experience because uh, so me and Tess grew up, you know, being obsessed with rent, and then we took and where Brandy, was this? Uh, I grew up in Salt Lake City. I grew up here. Grew up here. Are yeah. you Mormon or were you Mormon? No, I was never Mormon, yeah. uh, but I just Adjacent. ended up there. I don't yeah, know what sure. the hell happened. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean I know Salt Lake City is pretty also. Pretty yeah, no, it's it's Salt Lake's not itself isn't at yeah. that bad, but yeah, we um, but my friend took me to San Francisco to like see it once, and Daphne. Ruben oh, Vega yeah. was playing sure. Mimi and all yeah. that stuff. So it was that amazing. was right after she got her boobs done. Oh really? Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah. Mimi had some extra oomph gotcha. on those yeah, shows. Yeah. Hello. Can I, was it weird that she wasn't cast in the movie? Was there like she had just had a baby? Oh really? Yeah. Oh, so she was like, "Fuck it, I'm good." Well, well, I mean, it wasn't <laughs> exactly that, that, but there was no chance. way there yeah. was no right. Way. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It was so cool that they got so many of you guys to be. Yeah, that was I mean, miracle. that's yeah, that was a miracle. It never happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was. Uh, you was can it? you can search on the interwebs. It's true. <laughs> like did this never no, happen? Never, never, happened. Happened. never yeah. had six people from original cast of a show that's adapted to a movie in the movie. Never. Yeah. Did you guys kind of gel because of the original production, or were you all friends before the workshop? Uh, you mean of the of the original cast? Mm-hmm. Of, oh yeah, I I Daphne and I did the ten perform that ten performance thing that I mentioned. Mm-hmm. So I, we we became friends then, but everybody else was new to it. There, there were only uh, she and I, and then one other guy who was in the ensemble, Gilles Chiasson, were the only p- three. The three of us were the only ones who did both. Oh wow! Yeah, 
so yeah but then we we were already really then we we all bonded very quickly yeah i can imagine the friendships from show to show must just be so intense i mean obviously you guys are working together all the time you know or do you do you hang out or is it just like i see you at the show i'm like i want a little mixture of both it depends you know especially when you're on tour i think there's more hanging out because we have each other right but in a city like los Los angeles we just got here and we all like all all of us but many of us have friends here so there's a lot of extracurricular stuff happening right but um yeah when we're when we're in seattle a couple weeks ago yeah we we you know we always like to there's several of us that like we really like good food so we'll find a restaurant and yeah. try to have at least one good meal there when we can you know all that kind of stuff and yeah. did you when you were younger were you ever like a chorus person who toured with shows or did you uh yeah i've never no i've never really toured in the ensemble i've uh, always had at least a minor role like a minor principal role if not a leading role yeah so were you ever that person that like partied a lot on tour or are you never. pretty no, I've, never <laughs> been. I've never been a party a lot person on or off tour yeah yeah i'm a pretty yeah i don't know i imagine I feel you like have you to be though, like doing like, yeah you yeah. have to be like super i think so i mean yeah. there's some people who, i don't know how they do it they party all the time they drink themselves silly and still could do eight shows a week i don't know how you do it yeah, yeah. it would make me feel like i was gonna die yeah I think it kind of depends on if you're like an extrovert or an introvert. Like, probably, especially if you're putting so much of yourself out there on yeah. stage, it's yeah. like you recharge. Like introverts recharge by like being yeah. alone. Are you an introvert? Yeah, I yeah. definitely am. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, if I'm around people, I yeah. like need to like go to a corner sometimes yeah. and just phone for ten minutes and be yeah. like, okay, cool. Now yeah, me I can, too. Yeah. Now I can be a person again. I used to be an extrovert, yeah. and now I'm an introvert because of comedy. Because yeah. we're out all the time seeing people, mm-hmm. and then I'm like, okay, I'm feeling insane. I need to be yeah. away from everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I personally don't believe in introverts and extroverts. Oh, like to okay. me, they're like astrological signs. Right. Because I, when I hear about the qualities of an extrovert, I'm like, totally. That's me. Definitely. 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 Yeah, yeah. And then introvert, I'm like, for sure. I love TV. <laughs> love reading. <laughs> totally down for naps. Well, <laughs> so it's, that's it's, funny. it's not that you can't. It's not that you can't do both. It's that like, where do you feel like you're recharging the most? Like, I don't know what that means. Well, it's like some people, like like some people get recharged by like being around people and like the energy of it. Like I guess I, I like do, both. but I do both. Yeah, yeah. I feel I feel because re- if I don't that see friends me. for a long time, yeah. I don't feel yeah. recharged. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. I feel like I need that also. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I think we're forth. just bitroverted. <laughs> no, I mean, sure. I mean, sure. Nobody is ever a hundred percent of anything. I think your trovertness is like your sexuality. You're kind sure. of like fluid in a lot of ways. Sure. I don't know. I like uh, it both ways. Yeah. There sure. you go. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Sure. Um, okay, so I was going to say, yeah, we grew up like, you know, super obsessed with the show. Br- and Brandy's not like a musical person, but we took her to see yeah. mm. a production of it that was uh, not very good. Yeah, we yeah. bought the tickets on Groupon. That makes me sad. R- okay, yeah, I, I mean, for ask us, you, what we is were that like, like, it's funny, you know, but. No, it makes me sad. <laughs> Anthony, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm not. It's not, not your fault. We didn't produce it. No, I know. I'm not blaming. I'm not sad. I was gonna say, you. isn't it weird you, when it just is out there, it. so anybody can do it, and it's like well, not anyone should. Uh, yeah, but I mean, it's also incredible that people want to. Yeah, you know, and that Jonathan Larson created this thing that has so, so much impact and so much life. Yeah, mm-hmm. but like, I th- there was an acquaintance of mine a few years ago who was doing this little community theater production in New Jersey, and he invited me, and oh, no. I went, and it was oh no, so terrible. Yeah. And they were also changing, you know, it's like they weren't really even doing oh. certain things. Mm. It was, it was, it, I, I, I can't imagine mm. Did you stay for the whole thing? I did, because I knew him. I'm not going to leave. Yeah. yeah, you got to do the whole thing. Makes but, sense. you know. It's, it's isn't it allowed yeah. for people to do it in high school now <laughs> yeah. or not? Is yeah, that, yeah. There's a school edition. That's so crazy. How? And they, they, they just trim, they change a little bit of the language. And it was all with Jonathan's family's participation. Oh, okay. You know, well, that's good. Um, okay. That's cool. They vetted all the things and, you know, mm-hmm. um, and yeah, and I've, I'm, a friend of mine is a high school theater director and I went and saw his production and there were, you know, they're high school kids, but there's, they're clearly getting so much out of it mm-hmm. and there's really yeah. cool moments and there's always mm-hmm. individual performances that are really strong and it's a very meaningful thing for them. But what do they do about like heroin addiction? They do. They talk, do they do I mean, it? Yeah, they address okay. it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's in there. I mean, they really drop a, the f bombs. They they replace them with a couple other things, and yeah. and and then other things are just a little trim, just to make it a little shorter. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, all the stuff is in there. You know. I hope they much. took out "We're Okay." <laughs> no, that's in there. That "We're Okay" is in there. If you have a good Joanne, it's re- that's a good number. But yeah, that's true. That's know, true. Yeah. It's but it's a it's one of those that could go either, could go either way. way. Yeah. 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 I mean, I feel like that's. I mean, today for you is a number that can go either way if you don't have a good angel. I oh. promise you. 
Are oh, you still, I'm sure. Angel's I mean, a role God. that could go either way if you yes. don't have a good. Yeah. Yes. That was actually one of the better in the, the show. Angel we saw, we saw Angel was, was pretty good. Yeah, yeah Angel was decent. <laughs> but yeah, it was like so. It was an, so Brandy had no exposure oh, to rent. <laughs> I, I, I I figured it out yesterday when I was at Ben. Musicals feel like I'm at church, and it makes me at oh, church. Yeah, oh. the, like the choral sound of it. It makes me physically uncomfortable. You just don't oh, wow. like a lot of people yeah. singing at once. Yeah, I like grew up in a very religious household, yeah. and it makes me feel like I'm at church, and it like makes me. It, I get really. You know tense. what's really funny? Oh, I had man. that thought yesterday, yeah. but like oh, in a good way like yeah. i always yeah, I when always i go to a show me, and I'm like, like oh this is like church no yeah. Yeah. it like it like makes me relive every conversation I that i had with my mom i get that <laughs> really yeah but that yeah. makes me i wonder if there's a way to like reprogram it because next to normal there, i don't know there could be a beauty like there's such it, yeah yeah there's such. i i'm also it's just yeah. it's it's not a musical style that i'm necessarily into but then it just i was sitting there yesterday because i was like i intellectually enjoy what's happening but i'm like my visceral no, I reaction get that. to it of course yeah. well, it makes total mean, sense it's yeah, like yeah. trauma there's yeah. trauma of yeah. course well, what do you of mean course. when you say it's not a musical style that you're into because there's an infinite number of styles in I, musicals. I just i don't like the i i, <laughs> I like the, i don't i don't want to like be condescending to your you art could, you know I what just, i mean I believe me okay I, I don't like like the like high elbows just like <laughs> like that's there's just like a lot of musicals just too cheery for me uh-huh I just don't, that just like, it just is too much. It's just not my See, thing. I think you yeah. need to get into Sondheim. Well, okay. I, I think this is what it is. Gotta, she doesn't like I got, musicals. I got a lot of stuff Let's I like. Let's not force it. It's, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I don't like fine. football. I have the same visceral yeah. reaction. It's, yeah. you know, yeah. same yeah. thing. No, so. I mean, have you heard Hamilton? I'm just curious. As somebody I, who doesn't like traditional I have, musical theater. Uh, I've, I've listened to the first half of it and oh. I enjoyed it. I wish it was about John Adams instead. <laughs> Oh. I'm a big president fan. I actually, yeah, yeah. I, I, I kind of think Alexander Hamilton is a little bit of a war hawk, uh, and I'm uh-huh. not a big fan of his. And I prefer uh, of the founding fathers. Hey. No, right. Let's second just half. stop this conversation. <laughs> Look, I'm, d- I'm being honest. No, I hear no, it. No, I know. I'm being honest. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the show is not necessarily like no, a, 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 a. It doesn't say Alexander Hamilton was some you know perfect yeah. human being by any means. Like no, yeah. opposite, opposite yeah. of that. But yeah. it's it's a it's similar okay. thing where like intellectually I enjoy it. Yeah. But it's just like physically, I'm sure. just not. Yeah. It's just not my thing. Interesting. Yeah. 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 And that's totally fine. And yeah, all certainly. different kinds make a world. Yes. Yeah. I suppose that's true. Yeah. <laughs> I personally come when I hear a 12 part harmony, but we'll be back after yeah. the break. <laughs> Hey, we're back on Lady to Lady. I'm Brandy. I'm Barbara. I'm Tess. And we're here with our guest, Anthony Rapp. Hi. Hi. Hey. Um, we're going to play a game with you and okay. get to know you a little bit better. Okay. Shall we? Hit it, David. Get impressed by this. Who, what, where, when? Who, what, where, when? Who, what, where, when? Who, what, where, when? Why? Straight off the Hamilton cut. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Everyone, right? Oh, yeah. I think backed. that sounds good enough. There you go. Um, okay. Let's see. Who... Is your dream co-star or the actor you've always wanted to work with? Oh man, I well, I there was a stretch of performances by Anthony Hopkins in the early '90s that I mean I don't know what he's like now. You know he's getting older, so right? I don't know. Right. Yeah. But do you remember when he did uh, Silence of the Lambs, Remains of the Day, and um, Howard's End? Yeah. Oh. Like, that was oh, one of those yeah. moments where I was like, wow, what it would be amazing to work with him. Nice. Yeah, yeah, he's he, incredible. What has he been in? Has it's been he, a while. I mean, he hasn't done a lot. I hope he's okay. I know. So. But he was in Meet Joe Black. Yeah, that was so that long ago. That was a while ago. ago. That was yeah. a while ago. Yeah. yeah. That's one know. of the people that I always like, wow, I think that'd be amazing. I could see how actor. he would be someone who'd be really fun to see in the theater, too. I think so. Yeah. Because yeah, he's got that like really strong kind of like quietness to yeah. him. That Yeah. Those performances. I think they were among the three of the best ever. Yeah. Of mm-hmm. all time. No, without yeah. a doubt. Strong quietness. That is the best description for like really great acting. You know? Like, that's thank what you. I want to yeah. see. Let's <laughs> write a two person show, Anthony and Anthony. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. On Broadway. Oh my God. <laughs> Dueling Anthony's. Right? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> You can like and it's like a piano bar, but we all just like quietly sip wine and watch you guys give like mm-hmm. a really powerful, like subtle performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That can't, you know, that's like it's, he, all those films too had like those close ups, those endless close ups like yeah. this, and just could the, you would just sustain it. it the was, intensity. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, yeah. the eyes. Yeah, was there? Is that it? Is the game that's, over? No, that's the whole game. Bye. Thank you. Next question. Okay. What would you do 
if you found out you only had 525,600 minutes to live. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Barbara, <I'm sorry. laughs> this is really embarrassing. That's what that's For the people listening at home or unfamiliar <laughs> with the show, it's the quote from Rent. And it it's adds up to a year. <laughs> um, so if you only had a year to live, what would you do? Oh, boy. Um, there's, I've been, I've been lucky enough to go to all the continents except an- Antarctica. So oh. I don't know if I'd want to go to Antarctica if I had only a year left to live because yeah. it's cold. But I love penguins, so maybe I try to figure out some way to do that, even for a day. But you can't. It takes a long time. Maybe to you get could there. just end yeah. there and like that's it. You know? Oh, that's possible. <laughs> um, uh, I only, I'm a, I'm a very avid poker player, and I only got to play in one of the one main event. You know, mm-hmm. the World Series poker. So I, I think I, I want to do that again. That'd be oh, fun. Wow, that's you're cool. an avid poker player. Yeah. How long has that been going on? Uh, over, well, avidly for more than a decade, but like off and yeah. on with friends for a mo- lot longer than I that. I just like the idea of you being like, bet it all on the river. Right. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't use, you wouldn't necessarily say bet it all on the river. Oh, so. do you not do that? How does you it go? You say go all, all in. in. Go, go all, all in. in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Go. The last time oh, I played yeah. poker with some friends, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but I won somehow, which happens yeah, a lot. Yeah. And I think they fucking hated me yeah, and I have not been invited back. See, they probably did. You know, I was thinking about how I want to start a poker night. Yeah, I'm in. I mean, it's a really fun way to like socialize, but also be doing something. But you hate yeah. games. How do you want to play poker? I like poker? money, though. I like gambling. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that those are some more frivolous things. I mean, yeah, I I, I guess there there I would have to keep going down the list of places I'd want to go. I've never mm-hmm. been to uh, uh, Machu Picchu. I'd want to do that. That'd be cool. I, I have a friend who's hiking that for yeah. over New Year's. I haven't been That's to awesome. India. Yeah, I'd want to do that. that I have, you know, friends who are whose families are there, so I'd mm-hmm. like want to go with them and like experience it. You know, yeah. um, you know, I haven't been to like the Dalmatian coast. Mm-hmm. Where uh, where is that? That's, yeah, that? that's like Croatia, and oh, okay. like apparently is really stunning. You know, and I'd, cool. I'd want to like really read up and like the travel places of the really exquisite kind yeah. of little hidden nooks and gems. That's yeah, like worldwide tour. Um, yeah, yeah, I probably want to do around, yeah, one of those around the world plane mm-hmm. ticket things and just go cool. and go and go. So is that your jam? Kind of like natural places? Like cool <laughs> outdoor? <laughs> not just, no, not just natural. <laughs> well, like, mm-hmm. yeah, it could be natural. It yeah, could right. also be like a great city. I mean, it depends. Yeah. That's but cool. just to, to see that stuff. And then, uh, yeah, nice. you know, try to do my best to make you know make time with all my, the people and the matter the most and i, I mean yeah. i'd want to take some of those people on any of those trips if they could come yeah you know. yeah that would be neat if you could take like two or three friends to like each destination or whatever yeah, yeah. yeah. so really cool. yeah spending the time with the people i love and yeah you know that came in second after traveling i'm just yeah, i know it's probably true yeah, <laughs> yeah. Probably true. yeah that feels right um yeah <laughs> Make uh, sure my cats were well taken care of. I'm a cat lady. How many Aww. cats do you have? I have four cats. <gasps> oh yeah. What are their yeah. names? Uh, so the eldest is Spike. That was so. My brother is a playwright and, and filmmaker, and he directed this film, um, like in 2003. Mm-hmm. And there was they needed a kitten, and so the props people found a, like got a kitten from a shelter. Aww. Yeah. And he was literally the size of my hand. Mm-hmm. And then Adam named him Spike, and he's an orange tabby. And then I took him from the set. Yeah. And then Olivia is a black and white tuxedo beautiful cat and then yeah. there's brother and sister Ferdinand and Isabella and that does not oh. mean that I condone the <laughs> crusades. <laughs> <laughs> um that's really cute. I was going to say so do you have somebody who, like takes care I mean obviously you just Yeah, have, like, my friend regular... Brady um his fiance John is is in Chicago getting his PhD and Brady they gave up their apartment and Brady was going to look for a place I'm like I'm going on tour so Yeah. In Chicago? Are you in Chicago? No, no, no. This is New York. Oh, so oh okay. So John is in Chicago. Brady's in New York. Mm-hmm. He had he was oh, gonna look for a place. I was like, why don't you just stay here, take perfect. care of the cat? So it worked out. It's a good awesome. deal. Win win. Boom. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, this is not one of the official questions. Oh, God. But have you ever had a landlord that was like, you better pay your rent? <laughs> <laughs> has, has that ever happened? Or too many cats? Yeah. yeah. Except that doesn't even really happen in rent either. That they don't, <laughs> they don't gr- he doesn't growl. <laughs> You better pay. Oh, we were saying so you don't know what we saw. You don't know what we saw. <laughs> we were. There, you have to see that like if then kind of felt like uh, it feels like, like grown, grown up, up rent. rent. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool. Like okay, yeah. Do you want to talk about that? What? Do you and Adina talk about? Or was that? I mean, we didn't talk about it explicitly, but it was sort of like I mean, Brian Yorkey, the the lyricist and book writer of, of If Then, and Tom Kitt, his composer collaborator. There, they were incredibly influenced by Rent, mm-hmm. and they knew they were writing the show for us, and so. I think he put in things that were sort of like a little nod or a wink or a kind of honoring yeah. that relationship, 
in a certain way that I think is it's not just fan service. I think it also makes sense yeah. in the lives of the characters of of this show. But mm-hmm. it's- it makes sense a lot because I mean I think especially when we were younger, like being really into it, it was like yeah, like everyone's an artist and we're all gonna make it or whatever, you know. And then it's like well here's reality and yeah. like you're older mm-hmm. and this is yeah. what it really turns this is out. What happens like. to those characters? Exactly. Yeah. 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 On a yeah. certain yeah. level, I think that's part of it or part mm-hmm. of the fabric of it. Yeah. That's yeah. Uh, that's interesting sense. to hear that that was at least something that was like conscious. Yeah. From, cause, yeah. Because we noticed it. Yeah. That's interesting. Cool. Um, all right, Brandy, you want to take the uh, one? Where do you think Seymour ended up? Oh, <laughs> this is an open-ended. Oh yeah, Seymour from Little Shop. Characters end up. Okay. Didn't he die? Doesn't he? No, he. No, he's. She dies. She dies. Yeah. She dies. But then it just ends up that they're like, ooh, the oh, plants no, no, the are plants, gonna take over. Yeah, he, you know. Do you think he kept feet? Do you think he kept being on the side of? Of Tui, or oh, he was no, like... Oh, no, no, no. He realized the error of his ways, the Faustian bargain that he had. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So maybe, yeah, maybe he loved that's how I the... played it. Yeah. The sorrow. The yeah. The sorrow oh, of... Feels I saw you do it in Salt Lake on tour. It was, oh, yeah. It was great. The I day that we tour. landed in Salt Lake City, literally, so I'd, I'd had the meeting about the Rent movie, and it was on my birthday that we landed. Oh, and, really? And we landed... I turned on my phone. It rang. Ooh. It was my manager telling me that I got in the movie. That is so cool. Yeah. Happy birthday. I can't believe you remember stuff like that. I have the well, worst memory. No, that's, oh, that's a pretty big, big one. That's a moment. That's yeah. a big one. I think, we, actually, we went to karaoke and you were there. Did you know Brian Barr? I don't know if you yeah, remember him. Yeah, but of course, yeah. Yeah, me and Brian he were take, He's somebody who took care of my cats one time when I was on tour. Nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Brian awesome. and you got. we went to karaoke and him and somebody sang... Um, Living in America? What is it? Living what you own? Yeah, yeah, on your yeah. own. What and you own? Or what, what you own? God, what am I saying? I don't know. <laughs> I don't, you know that show, right? <laughs> what you own, and uh, you got up and started. You were like, "No, fuck you guys! You're doing it wrong." It was so funny. It was great. Awesome. Great moment. Yeah. Um, I don't remember that? That's you don't right. remember I that? Do. No, oh, you I do. do? See, you remember everything. No, I remember. I wouldn't have remembered that if you hadn't told me. But now I remember. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. I jogged it. That's awesome. Um, I don't so, hang out with Brian anymore, but I saw him randomly on a subway in New York once, and uh, that's all. That's all I have to say. Good. Story. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Wow. So what? So Seymour, what happens to him? He, I well, guess he maybe he leads the world, right? Maybe he yeah, leads they take the over the world. Mm-hmm. I mean, him. so he's I mean, in the in the in that production too. Don't yeah, I appeared. We all appear with like plant faces and we sing. Mm-hmm. Right. The That's right. Oh, so right. you just became them, I guess. Plants. I think so. You all know, right. We get eaten by them. We get consumed by them and our DNA recombines with them maybe. I don't mm-hmm. know. What That's cool. do you guys think the plant means? I've been thinking about Little Shop recently. Like what? <sighs> it's the government. No, I don't know. Like, <sighs> Wow. Uh, it's a plant inside all of us. I it's mean, we have to it, feed right? it our blood or feed it human. But yeah. I think in a way, it's like you're it's a Faust. It's a Faust story. Right. I mean, mm-hmm. so that's the biggest thing that I always thought. Yeah, about just it. selling your soul. Yeah. Yeah. To get to gain the love of someone or the power or whatever it is mm-hmm. or revenge, all the things. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's that's what it means. It but means it's like when you look, like ultimately, it's kind of worth it, right? Why? Why everyone dies? Everyone dies. It's I know, giving but into your it, it's giving into your munched. id completely. Like, munched, without... munch, munch. But if munch, Seymour munch, had munch. never gotten Audrey to, his life would have been worse, right? Well, but I, I guess, guess it was he momentarily, might... yeah, momentary moment of, of love with Audrey, the, yeah. the, the, the human Audrey. He yeah. could have bought like a nice car, though, and like, you know, gotten Skipped a haircut and figured and like he could have just become abusive and then she would have been into yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. like he could have read a couple of self-help books and like you know learn to talk to somebody and make so you're contact. familiar with little shop even with your disdain I, of musical theater. i know the movie i know i've seen the movie on tv i like, mean that movie really it. uh i mean it transcends yeah, it's like, it's yeah. steve martin yeah, yeah. sure yeah, yeah. I, I don't I don't know the live show if there's any differences or not. It's pretty yeah, much the same. Yeah, there's cool. Yeah. 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 The live show is different. There's more in the live show. Yeah. Um, but I think it's pretty yeah. simple. I mean, yeah. as far as yeah. Well, don't feed the plants isn't in the movie, is is it? Yeah. I don't think it is. Don't no, it's not. So. Yeah. I don't know. No. Yeah. Don't yeah. they One don't song. they succeed in killing the plant in the movie? Yeah, or the something? the play is much dark much darker yeah, than the yeah, movie. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. But you know how those Hollywood people don't yeah. believe in darkness. Yeah. They want that happy ending, baby. Uh all right. What, is that the end of the one? game? No, no, no. Oh, two. We, two we got we two more. We have two more questions. When and why? What, yeah. You, yeah that's one. Right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh. When, when was your biggest personal if then moment? Like if something hadn't happened. I know? mean, it really is that it, it's associated with rent, of course, because that's mm-hmm. the most life changing thing that happened to me. But when I got when I got that workshop, I was working at Starbucks, 
Mm-hmm. And uh, there were things, there were acting jobs that I was close to getting that year but didn't come through. I couldn't tell you for the life of me what they are now. Yeah. But they seemed so important at the time. Mm-hmm. And then I was like getting really down and I was getting really broke. And I was like, what the hell is going to happen? Yeah. But if I'd gotten those jobs that I couldn't even tell you what they are, I probably wouldn't have been available to audition for this 10 performance workshop of Rent, which was the thing that completely and utterly changed my life. Yeah. So. That's one of those. Wow. That's yeah, that is so weird to think about That's if cool. you... Did you audition like up against any friends who didn't get marked? That... No, not that I was aware of. Okay. I mean, um, yeah. No, I, yeah. Just a just a normal audition. Uh, and I don't know how many people really auditioned for that workshop. I mean, a fair number, but I don't think it was anything crazy because no one knew what it was. It was this little thing. It, it wasn't was, a big deal. Yet. And it wasn't did a big you know deal. you knew yeah. Jonathan before it? No, that, that oh, I okay. met him that day, the first the first audition. Mm. Have you seen Smash? Did you see no, the weird the second? Do you hear it. about oh. the second season? Yeah, I know that they did sort of like a rent. Yeah, kind of. They show. tried. You <laughs> call it that. Yeah, no, but that, that but it was inspired by that. <laughs> yes, you know, yeah. story. Yeah, yes. I'm aware. I'm aware, but I haven't seen it. The first season's great, but the second one, yeah. Not good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Mm, sorry, no. <laughs> just, or just yeah. don't watch it. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay, last okay, one. This right. is all you. Are uh, we going to sing wait, this? we're doing it together. Oh, oh God. This is, um, this is so Uh-oh. bad. Dude, I don't want to do this it. Is, this is all you guys. Uh, she's, she's, she's toasting you with her coffee. <laughs> Why are entire years strewn on the cutting room floor of memory when single frames form one magic night forever flickering close up on the 3D IMAX of my mind? That was excellent. <laughs> um, that's the question. Yeah, so. Why are so many? Yeah. Why are entire Wait, let me read years? This. Just kidding. That's up for interpretation. <laughs> It is a good question. You know, <laughs> you know, if you really think about it. I read a really cool book on language and memory once that like the the science like, this is also PTSD situation. Like mm-hmm. literally neural pathways get re programmed in yeah. your brain when something intense happens to you. Like your brain kind of goes Wah! and that's why certain memories are more vivid. Mm-hmm. So that's partly why that's partly the answer to oh, that question. Oh yeah. That scientific sense. answer to that question. Yeah. Yeah. So love is a form of PTSD. Yes. That's why we remember those things. Exactly. That's poetic. <laughs> Put it in the music. <laughs> I feel like that is kind of like I was saying I have a terrible memory and that's how mine works. Like I'll remember very specific moments from once in a while but Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I couldn't mean, tell you about like two years worth of life. Oh, yeah. Anytime something major has happened, I, I feel like I remember even like what I was wearing, what kind of soda I was drinking. Like, yeah. I feel like, yeah, yeah, that stuff really. <laughs> what kind of soda? Back I, I don't it. even drink soda, but some... <laughs> there's there's one of the sitcom stars of the 70s or 80s. I think I'm not sure if it's Valerie Bertinelli or one of those mm-hmm. who has the, the, the there's a con- it's, it's a condition or something. But yeah. literally, if you say Mary Lou Hunter, that's what it is. March 25th, 1980, she could tell you what she was wearing she could tell you wow. the weather she could tell you uh, she just has that thing where it's, it's, just, it's like photographic but Gosh. it's beyond it's like oh. everything it's just like a it's like a computer program that you just press that button and she's like Bleep. and she's right i mean wow wow yeah right? I, yeah you know about this you're aware of this yeah i'd be it, it, that sounds horrific that yeah. sounds like a, it sounds I mean, good and bad i, mean, I feel like, yeah. like i would be a lot smarter because i've learned so much over my life that i just don't retain Me too. you know it's so yeah. frustrating yeah all the books i've read yes. everything i learned like in school and college is just like it's feels kind like of, it's gone i know so i at least know some <laughs> shit i'd probably be way would I, you be sadder or like you know if you i think i would be moment. i I, f- I would say my life in aggregate has been pretty happy so i think i would be just as happy if I remembered most of it. In aggregate, it's happy. What about in parcels? In parcels, there's many <laughs> sad parcels. Mm. Yeah. I don't know if those sad down. parcels would, uh, would if I remembered them vividly, have more weight than the happy ones. It'd be great if you could I just think get they rid probably of them. would because, like, I mean, you remember, like, at least I remember negative things. I, I will be quick to think of the negative things instead of, like, positive things when I'm just, like, if I'm, like, doing, if I've done something that I'm proud of. I'll be like, yeah, but these things are wrong. And that's... Of course, be, yeah. yeah. But I feel yeah, like if I did that with everything constantly. That's interesting. Yeah. Ugh, I remember too much already. I, like, <laughs> I, remem- I remember more than everybody around me most of the time because <laughs> it's, like, I'm, I'm sober, so I, like, don't drink, and it's yeah. just always, like... See exactly. Oh. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. We just, yeah just, we just put some just fuzzy frames them. around. Pound them. Around pound, all pound that. Oh yeah. They pound them. They party. Just pound them. Yeah. <laughs> Forget everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Forget the good and the bad. 
It's hard being at a party. It all comes out in the wine. Yeah. It's hard being at a place and being like, oh, that person is being a horrible person right now. I'm the only person that's going to remember this. Or yeah. sometimes cool. when somebody's having a great time. Yeah. And, you know, that's true. That happens too. That <laughs> happened at your dance party, remember? When yeah. you're having a great time and you don't I remember? was having a great time and I don't so remember much it fun. at all. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so was it a great time? It's interesting. No, actually, yeah. it wasn't a great. I, that one specifically, I don't think of fondly, but mm. only because it was like out of my control, and I don't like that. Yeah. Gotcha. I like getting to the edge, but it's like no, I need to like still have my you know mm-hmm. still be able to talk to people. Yeah, but you were talking to people. <laughs> oh boy! Sure was. Sure was. Um, okay, I think we have time for David's question. David has a question. What's your question? David, producer David. Hey guys. This, hey. Is like, this is only, I think, the third time I've been on the podcast. Yeah. This is uh, interesting. Okay, quick question. This might be a really stupid, dumb question, but it's something I always think about every single time I've seen Rent, which Uh-oh. is probably like four or five times okay. now. Okay, uh-oh. I'm worried. <laughs> I'm not at worried. The end, I, I feel like I'm at Comic-Con right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was definitely a Comic Con intro. It's like a Comic Con affect. Like it got real Q and A in here. It's not even like an obscure, like you know who. What is it? I've been looking for you. No, it's uh, so at the end of Rent, Mark is showing his documentary, and you see like out in the real world this footage that you you know the cast has shot in New York of all the characters. Yes. So I saw it one time with understudies, yes. and then you see like not the understudy in <laughs> yes. there. And I imagine that probably happened a bunch of times. Yes. But I didn't. that version wasn't in the um, on Broadway that I saw. Yes. When you're on Broadway, did you film multiple versions with the understudies? Is this yeah, a stupid question? The, no, yeah, yeah the, that's well, interesting. There's different parts of it, of the, of the right, end yeah. film. So there's the front part where you see Mark like talking to the camera and it's the actor playing Mark and then you see little Roger and then you see little Benny. But there was an understudy version where it was sort of like a silhouette or something like that. And there were multiple there were multiple that makes films. Sense. Okay. And they would switch them out. Yeah. yeah. So he actually So you saw some half ass thing there. <laughs> yeah. Probably where they didn't Not the group on production, but yeah. something else. Yeah. <laughs> is that licensed with the show? Like is that part mm, of the I don't know no, if you would know that. No. Yeah. No. I mean it, the, yeah the, the the original production would have they would normally have multiple mm-hmm. versions and the stage manager would or the you know, they would make sure that it's so slotted cool. correctly. So he actually finishes his documentary. Yeah. Okay. Cause in the group on <laughs> version we saw it just was like not they probably just couldn't, <laughs> they probably just couldn't afford to put it on there was there was like no there was mark no just walks on stage uh, and says nah there was just no footage this is how bad that was i got there was one bathroom is behind the stage yes and they were like hey sorry if you get stuck back here that's it and i got stuck back there during seasons of love that's... and i just <laughs> Where was where? It was, Hollywood. It was this really tiny That's, theater called the Cupcake Theater that shit. Bonnie Wright's ex ex husband used to own. Yeah. So there's just saying. it had some history. Yeah. <laughs> it oh was uh God. It's, it's <laughs> rocking in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> um all right. But well, like, there's so many have you guys ever seen a bad production of cats? I yes, saw cats. Well, cats. I yeah. saw cats. it. It was okay. awful. Is there a good one? I mean, yeah, but I left to have. I couldn't. Well, I it. saw it for like when I was twelve, and I'd listened to yeah. the music a little bit. and I kind of liked the music as a kid, but then I saw it, and I was like, "What is this?" Okay, yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of thoughts on cats. The first is, of course, that there's no story, but yeah. then yeah. my the guy that I my, wrote my musical with explained cat. He's really, he like a dramaturg had explained cats to him. And he was like, yeah, the white cat represents, um, they're all, they're, it's all Greek mythology and their makeup represents like which cat has been raped and which, I mean, Oh boy. Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> yeah. So I'm actually, reaching. yeah, no. So I feel like I'm wanting Mark to my, or yeah. <laughs> Anthony to my side. Yeah. <laughs> no, cats, cats is absolutely, there's literally no story. We're all just waiting for the bitch to sing memory off, of course. But, yeah. But when you when you see cats with people who like can't dance, oh. <laughs> dear lord, it, it just, just gets. It was worse. already like, yeah. It you was know already what I mean? Yeah, yeah, when the makeup sucks and they can't dance. Yeah. No, I, I mean I have talked. I have friends who loved doing it because I bet it's kind of fun to perform if you're fun. if you're a dancer and you get to do weird totally. things and it's kind of fun and to do wear yeah. all that makeup. But the the lycra bodysuit. Who wants to wear a lycra bodysuit ever? No. But anyway, yeah. no, no. It's just it's like that. I understand yeah. for many people that's what they know of musical theater. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I work in musical theater. I've made a good mm-hmm. living in musical theater. I don't like that. Yeah. So just for the record, <laughs> yes. there's all kinds of musical theater. Hell yeah. It's not just cats <laughs> and Phantom of the Opera. Yeah. 
You know. Yeah, I, I love Cats. Was I, I saw it on tour because I worked at the theater at Salt Lake, and it was unbearable. I mean, I just it's was my going dad's crazy. favorite show. So I've, oh, I saw it like your four. Dad. I know, <laughs> I know. Conversation, yeah. but like I, saw, yeah, yeah. I I started seeing Cats when I was like five. I under, I'm with you guys, but I have like kid. childhood ties to it, and I love dancing. Uh huh. The, the only <laughs> the only Broadway musical I've ever seen was uh, Phantom of the Opera in oh. eighth grade on a trip, mm. and <laughs> all of the kids. The first time the Phantom yells Christine, we thought it was the funniest thing that we'd ever heard. So every time she would come on stage, there was like 50 oh, eighth no, graders. It would no. just be like, Christine! Don't take eighth graders to see a Broadway show. No, like that's, that's the only time I've ever been on Broadway. Are we ruining <laughs> everything for you? No. That's like, <laughs> yeah. I feel for you. I feel yeah. the sympathy. Yeah. That combined with your traumatic childhood, of course you don't like yeah. musical theater. Yeah, thank you. I'm serious. Thank you. Like, but I hope that like that something yeah. could eventually thaw there because you're possibly. You know, I'm writing a, a musical yeah. about Carrot Top and Louis C.K. So maybe you'll like that. <laughs> what? Wow! <laughs> what? Oh boy! We'll see. Oh boy! Wow. Um, I had another question. We saw the show yesterday. Is it the first time that you've uh, ridden a skateboard? Or are you in like my a, life? Yes. Okay. Uh, you were doing pretty I, good, I, but I was like, I was like, he doesn't seem like a guy that would be real into skateboards. Yeah. Into no, skateboarding. I used to rollerblade all over New York okay. City, all over, gotcha. all the time. Um, but yeah, skateboarding, not yeah. so much. Okay. So, yeah. There was like a, but it's like, like it's pretty dicey on the stage because yeah, yeah. the 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 surface of the stage the is kind of a little slick. Yeah. And there are the there are these little graded things. So if yeah. if the wheel, I have to I have a very narrow mm-hmm. passage, and I also have to time it. So it's like a combination. Of oh things. yeah, but, I just so. I was I was watching you skateboard yesterday, and I was like, you nailed it. Like no, I, okay. I was I was mm-hmm. worried for you in that moment. No, yeah. 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 No. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. That Broke. would be like kind of scary though to skateboard because I am a bad skateboarder, but I kind of I like to skate. And uh, mm-hmm. little like hitches in your giddy up can hitches in your giddy yeah. up. Yeah, you know it. Like, <laughs> is that from Oklahoma? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, I've eaten shit pretty bad because I started skating when I was like kind of on the older side, but I just mm-hmm. like picked it up when I was living in Hollywood, uh-huh. and I uh-huh. would just start. And so people would be like proud of me because I would like they could tell that I was just learning, and I would get a lot of like thumbs up. And That's so I'd be like funny. skating Aww. through Hollywood, and I see people like, like look at that lady just like so comfortable skating in Hollywood, and then I would just <laughs> go. No, yeah, I, I, I've been okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. thank I'd, you. Like, yeah, I was, I was like. This look, I was concerned, and then you pulled it off, <laughs> and you. I was happy for you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. it was almost like as though you'd like rehearsed it hundreds of times. <laughs> <laughs> Skateboard band, you never know what can go wrong with those. It's things. true. Yeah. There's a bike on stage too. He's really riding that bike. Yeah, he yeah. really is. And what? slowly, which is harder. It is. That is hard. Yeah, maintain. And that. he has to turn very tight corners slowly. Mm-hmm. So he's got good skills. We have yeah. skills on that stage. Skills, yeah, seriously. Certain skills. A couple of stunt stuntmen. <laughs> Singing stuntman. There's your, There's musical your next musical. Yeah. Yeah. Singing stuntman. Yeah, that sounds great. All right, BRB. I'm gonna go write it. <laughs> we are back. I'm Tess. I'm Brandy. I'm Barbara. And we're here with Anthony. Why Rob, are you who's... worried, Barbara? No, I just worried. I almost fucked up my uh, intro. Your, your name? Name? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna say someone else? No, I just almost talked during Brandy, and it was just a whole thing, you know. Oh. Oh. I fucked up my cue. (laughs) (laughs) Should we take it again from the top? Yeah, okay, here we go. (laughs) (laughs) We're back. I'm Tess. I'm Brandy. And I'm Barbara Gray. That was better? Thank you. (laughs) We're here with Anthony Rapp. Okay, now I stepped on you. Oh, God. No, let's not do it again. (laughs) (laughs) All right, uh, you guys want to do a lady problem? Yeah, let's do it. Lady what? Lady problems. Problems. I know a lot of things about that. You got it. Lady, lady problems. Lady, lady, yeah, it's us. Lady problems. You too? So you do sing. The deep parts me. Lady problems. Pick the harmony. I actually have um, a pretty decent voice, but I just, I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What's, any critiques on our voices? <laughs> Any critiques on your yeah. voice? <laughs> That's a horrible question. Don't After that <laughs> two second. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking no, about? No, we sound great. I'm kidding. We fucking crush it. We're perfect. Um, Fuck yeah. Dear ladies, love the show. You're all awesome, etc. Thanks. I don't usually consider myself an awful garbage fire of a person. However, I have found myself completely <sighs> and on my own damn fault in a moral and very specific God, I hope he doesn't listen to this, but at this point, fuck it, quandary. And I hope that you'd be forgiving and possibly enable a a dumb slut like me. 
Buckle in, ladies. Story time. So okay, first we're buckled. Off, yep. <laughs> I'm a gay dude graduating in December. In January, I'm moving to a medium-sized city in the South to live with a friend who I met interning in a medium-sized city a little north a few years ago. I've already got a temporary job thing set up in January so I can get on my feet, largely thanks to my friend who graduated two years before me. I've already accepted the job and booked myself a non-refundable plane ticket so there's no going back. Except... Last Christmas, this girl's best friend of a decade came to my hometown on a family vacation. It came up on my Facebook that he was literally staying in my neighborhood, and I was like, let's get drinks. He he drunkenly added me a couple months earlier. So we met up, got really hammered, and ended up making out. Okay, made out, and I may have blown him in an alleyway. The second time we met, I'm no harlot. He's smart, he's funny, and we have interests. He's making more money than I ever will. I am not physically attracted to him oh, at no. all. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, so, my just, t- <laughs> so my- just tell yeah. him it was a drunken Toes. whoopsie and you don't want to yeah. lead him on. No biggie. Okay. Nope. For the last nine months, we've been messaging pretty much daily. Uh, again, personality-wise, we really click well, and that has sometimes devolved into sexting and me sending a lot of A-plus butt pics. Uh, I'm not... <laughs> I'm still super not physically into him. Oh, my but God. But sometimes I get lonely, and I am, as previously oh mentioned, a garbage no. fire of a person who constantly <laughs> needs validation. Oh. I've tried to back away instead of backing it up in the last couple months, but he's oh. actually interested in me. God knows why. And he has all these expectations about when I arrive. Gee, Understand I wonder what? why. <laughs> yeah. I know. Because I've been shamelessly leading him on because of my own self-esteem issues because I'm the worst. In my defense, I haven't reciprocated whenever he said anything more emotional, romantic. Oh, oh my God. God. Hold your applause. I just changed the subject. <laughs> Mostly with butt pics. Right now, my only idea is to tell him when I arrive that I am not in an emotional place to get in a relationship, even have sex with him, blah, blah, blah. Oh, my God. The problem is that he and his best friends are my only friends in the new city. Oh, boy. Ladies, I feel genuinely bad about it, but I also want to date and have sex with other people and also stay friends with literally the only people I know in the place oh, I'm moving boy. to. <laughs> Anthony's about to like launch <laughs> launch out of here. Oh, and my new tr- my new boss is friends with both of them. How did I get myself in this prediction? All my love, prediction, a manipulative piece yeah. of trash with a cute butt. Whoa. Wow. So Yeah. Well, you are being <laughs> A dick. Yeah, you're being you're being real bad. But he knows. Oh yeah. It doesn't make it better. Like the murderer knows that he's murdering someone. (laughs) Yeah. Ted Bundy (laughs) knew what he was doing every single time. And Ted Bundy had a great butt. I I mean I get he's being honest, you guys. He needs to just end it completely. No, that's really no honestly, truly, that is important. That's the first step. First step, definitely. Yes. But oh boy. Yeah. No, it's Sorry, it's you're so, gonna have to. It's cruel. It's it just is cruel. very yeah. cruel. You gotta. You can't treat yeah. people like that. Why do you yeah. want to stay friends with people that you're not being a friend to? Number one, yeah. like you're. It, it, you weren't not. ever friends. You were never That's friends. Just selfish. Yeah. It's just selfish. It's incredibly selfish. Okay. 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 And I don't mean that I, judgmentally. It's just no, like no. the reality. It's, it's just the reality. Pre- yeah. like and he it's knows objectively. he's being... Objectively, yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, I've done things that are less than perfect. Of course. Oh, yeah, we, we all, all have. have. Everybody we has. Have. You know, we and, and so I, I do get what he's saying, where I definitely have done that when I was single, of like led guys on, where if I look back, it was like I was just enjoying the ego boost. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I didn't actually have feelings for yes. them. Yes. What do you but do is, once the, you do that? The complexity, like the... the, 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 the I mean the Shakespearean quote: "The first, you know, if at first, or the 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 the, the, uh, yeah. the, um, the oh, what tang- oh what tangled into- oh what tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive, right? Yes, right. yes. So yes. the first deception was uh, giving him any indication that mm-hmm. you were interested at all." sexually and that might have been okay but then the nine months of texting that's pretty that's yes that's a lot and then when it becomes wrapped up with the Mm. like what you feel like your life is gonna be when you move to this place and you're gonna Mm. need to rely on him for friendship Friendship? ah yeah you can't it just it's a foundation of sand they'll never be friends no you'll never that's no but that's up to the guy i mean probably not but that's up there there's a possibility for if uh, if two people if two people are yeah. adults and can have an honest, open conversation and 
you right. know, for, forgiveness is possible and, and, and to just talk it all out, yeah. maybe. But maybe, that's that, but, but you gotta go through a process. Okay, yeah, but yeah, they yeah. had no relationship prior to hooking up. Well, yeah, but that's Hooked that's up. well the friendship you know. thing isn't yeah, as important yeah. as as basically you have to risk that and say you probably won't, you might not be whatever, but yeah. you've gotta yeah. end this. You've gotta be honest with him and say I, I'm done, I'm sorry, I, I can't be with you in any way. Yeah. It's my fault, I'm an asshole, blah. Yeah. You yes. Know? You need yeah. to just own it and you need to like cut this off. I would say yeah. cut off cut ties completely for a while until you move there. <laughs> like, and then even then. Give this like, guy some time to get over him, it. Yeah, give him a lot of time to get over it. D- delete his number from your phone, delete him from all of your things for his sake. Well, I think. Well, but I think I, for a while. But I. I wouldn't say that unequivocally. If the if the well, guy says if the guys didn't do it, fine. Yeah, if the guy says uh, okay, but which is unlikely. Yeah, but yeah, at yeah. least yeah, don't make decisions on his behalf. Well, yeah, either. I mean, I mean, just uh, mostly, I mean, just don't don't leave the temptation of like he will contact you. Like, give it all completely to him yeah. to be the one to Shh, a- a- approach sure, you. That probably makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I would agree. Yeah, don't yeah. reach out to him. Oh. Mm-hmm. I also yeah. think a lot of this is probably like you're from a small town, you're graduating high school, and he represents this like. Big, I think he's big, graduating high city. school. Is Co- that well, co- is oh, he's graduating college. Yeah. Okay. Well, but yeah, but like in a small town. So I, I assume he's never lived in like a, a big city at all before. So this is like, maybe he thinks the drama has grown up or something. But it's like not. That's cool. a good point. I think when you're like, it. I guess in school, like the world seems smaller to yeah. you. And when mm-hmm. in reality, when you're an adult, you can move to a city, and there are all kinds of people that you can befriend yes. and fuck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah <laughs> in that order yeah yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> exactly yeah, yeah you he's not gonna be your only you know yeah. lifeline in this city I mean, it might feel like it but it's not fair to put that on him no, no. but know? again it's like great it is really important that you see the thing that you're doing yeah but you do have to handle it you can't just no. pretend that this didn't happen no you gotta handle it and yeah. it's, and handling is could be tough but mm-hmm. it's important and you have to do it yeah yeah and, i mean yeah and 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 you can't that then let this be a lesson moving forward that you gotta tr- just treat people more honestly you just yeah. gotta do it you just got to yeah exactly yeah i mean like respect people and you will get respect in return and yeah. like that's the foundation of a good relationship yeah <laughs> Yeah, it wow. sucks. It really does suck to walk into a situation where you know that mm-hmm. you're going to be calling out what an asshole you yeah. are. Yep. Yeah. But that's, that's, that's I'm sorry. That's yes. part of being a living adult human being in yeah. the world. Yeah. You got to take we, we have responsibility to each other. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. also, like, if your only validation in life is coming from some guy saying that you have a cute butt, like, you got to get some fucking hobbies. You got to do some something. Like, you will be a miserable person if your only validation comes from people that you trick into liking you. I think that's the, what's going on. Oh. A, a little bit of what's going on here is yeah. the problem is that you're getting so much validation from this guy. Yeah. And I completely understand. I did that for many years of my life. Um, mm-hmm. But it's just the way you're going to feel, not only at the end of this, but in yeah. the future. It, trust me, it's not worth it. It yeah. might feel really good, the like little boost you get when you see that he's texted you. But mm-hmm. it's really going to end up you know not in your favor this is almost like addictive behavior it, it kind of yeah, is yeah it has that feeling and i it. feel i know that it's so well yeah. but it's a uh, mm-hmm. yeah it's it's just trust us and you're it's not gonna feel good and i do want to yeah i don't yeah. want to make this into like it's not yeah it's not like a shaming of it it's just no, like you no, got no, it no. calling it what it is because mm-hmm. if you don't then it's yeah it's, you it will turn into a fire and people do yeah. manipulative things all the time yeah. and don't realize that they're doing yeah. them so yeah. i really do yeah. you know laud the fact that you you yeah. realize what you're doing it, yeah it's just taking that step of like now doing the hard part of, of, of yeah yeah you gotta own up mm-hmm. yeah you really gotta you own know take up. a shot yeah. Um, don't, and, throw you know, don't throw away your yeah. shot. Don't throw away your shot. You're just like your country. You're young, scrappy, and hungry, and uh, you know, and uh, and maybe find a different guy. Well, I yeah. have like the, you know what I mean? Like find a guy who you do want to fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Even though in a lot of situations, I think we would say like deal with time on your own. Blah, but blah, I blah. think that's what everyone says. Go find a different guy. To find fight. someone else that you <laughs> that you want to be with, and uh, and just. You know, cut yeah. it off and save this guy. You yeah. know, think about if you were the other guy. You don't, yeah, you don't but you that. know, I have friends who are like this. We're not to this extreme, but like mm-hmm. some people do, just have to be the one that's more adored in a relationship. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do that's, you guys have friends? That's like very that? like, common. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that happens. I don't think like that's that. that crazy, but you have to actually like you have to. A you have to have some means you're physically. You know, yeah, there's some. Yeah, yeah, yeah there needs to be some. Yeah. Also, I mean, not just changing the subject when he says nice things. Yeah. <laughs> Look over there. Yeah. Shiny. I wanna. 
<laughs> I want to. I I love you. Here's a picture of my asshole. Uh, and I was like, no, that's not. No. <laughs> poor guy. Here's a. Uh, by like, the way, here's his tip for taking a p- good yeah. picture of your butt. I need this. The trick is to use a self timer and lean the phone against your laptop to get the right angle. Well, there mm. you Probably go. makes sense. Probably makes <laughs> sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's actually very practical mm-hmm. information because it's hard to take a butt shot of yourself. Yeah. yeah. So. Did you know about that website? I don't know if she's still doing it, where she's rating dick pics. I can't Ooh. remember what it's called. No. no. But she like critiques them from like an artistic and also <laughs> you know like sex sexy but. You know, she's like, they send me your dick pics and I will. Oh, I, I have will. seen that. Oh, They're, yeah. It's Critiquing. fantastic. That's Critique brilliant. my dick pics. Tumblr.com. It's fantastic. Oh, my God. Go, Damn. Gentlemen, if you're thinking of sending a dick pic, send it to this woman first. Yeah. <laughs> get some feedback. Yes. But you only get one chance at that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, also, don't send one unless asked for one, I think. Oh, in general. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Just in general. No one solicited. Yeah. Don't, don't send an unsolicited yeah. dick pic. That's yeah. super creepy. Yeah. 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 They're I going agree. to anyway. Um, I know. <laughs> I mean, I think dick pics are funny, though. I mean, yeah, but like, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't. Don't. I don't want to be no, sent one if I don't. I think as much of a predicament as we think because I hear about it a lot, but I haven't experienced it. Yeah, how many dick pics have you guys legit got? I mean, at some, but not me like too. it's under yeah, five some. for me. Yeah. Under yeah. five for you? Under yeah. five? Under five? How many? Way more than five. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how many? Double digits? No way. Yeah. <laughs> are you serious? Yes. Triple digits? No. Yes. Triple. <laughs> Dude, broad, <laughs> Broadway star. Yeah. I mean, I don't know about triple digits, but maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Sorry. Is this your Tumblr? Is, is, is <laughs> 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 my Tumblr is Albino Kid 1026, which is my birthday. Aww. Aww. 1026. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And my Twitter is Albino Kid. At <laughs> Albino Kid. Yeah, and your albino. Instagram, Albino, albino Kid. Albino Kid 1026. Nice. Oh, 1026. Because oh. Albino Kid was taken when I finally joined. I was a little reticent to join Instagram because I. Th- I don't know why it seems so stupid looking back, but I was like, I I do engage on social mm-hmm. media and it's a way that I think is a really good and healthy way to engage with my yeah. audience, you know, but I thought Instagram was just a little more private, but then yeah. I'm like, but I can actually control what pictures I put up. So it's not, mm-hmm. yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. I feel like it's the best, one of the yeah. best ways so to So now I really, yeah, people. exactly. Yeah. So I really have embraced it, but I, nice. I was late to the Instagram party. I resisted. Yeah. So. Good. You don't think yeah. of it as something that strangers will follow you on? They do. I know. Yeah, when I, I know, post stuff, yeah, like, I don't realize because we have listeners who follow us on ours. Yeah, and I like don't think about it. I just post pers- pictures. I'm like, oh yeah, like yeah, yeah. But yeah. I yeah, I wouldn't. I would not post my address or no. Yeah, there's nothing you would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah, it just yeah. feels. It feels true. more personal. It is personal, yeah, but it's, yeah, but, personal. It's, but it's still something that I don't mind sharing. Like, yeah, yeah, no, in a good way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, should we do time for one more or we? Um, we're probably over. Probably okay. So Anthony, you're touring with If Then. Yes. What else? Uh, where, where are you? Also on the internet. What else can we plug? Um, I think I said the things right. The, yeah. the Tumblr and the Instagram and the Twitter. Uh-huh. Um, I there's a couple little low budget movies that I did this past summer that you know I don't know when they'll see the light of day because you never know what those things in terms of festivals or yeah. maybe streaming services or whatever. You know that all that landscape has changed so much. Mm-hmm. But I, I'm I'm they were really good experiences and they're interesting director is an interesting film so we'll see oh cool Um, uh, one is called Modern Love and one is called Dreamland so I guess keep your eyes and ears peeled to that and then uh, I wrote a book that came out almost 10 years ago called Without You which was about my experiences being in Rent and my mother uh, dying of cancer while I was in the show and Mm -hmm. Jonathan Larson it's kind of a heavy thing but um, I adapted it into a show and we, I've been doing that off and on over the years. And uh, oh, cool. so after the tour, I'm looking to do more productions of that. Oh, that's awesome. Nice. Do you think you'll bring it out here? Possibly, yeah. I mean, there's. Cool. I'd like to bring it as many places as would happen. So awesome. It's nice. myself in a five-piece band. So it's like a real, it's sort of like a concert theater thing, if that makes any that's sense. That's cool. It's yeah. very theatrical, but it also is very musical driven. Music, music like mm-hmm. not in the way that you yeah. makes you crazy. Because it's <laughs> like, there's no, only one sounds, singer. It's not choral. There's this, nothing choral about it. Do you yeah. Yeah. I would come to this. Do. This sounds Thank good. Yeah. Yeah. I got a dead mom too. Let's get into it. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like fun. <laughs> yeah. 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 What were you asking me? Sorry. Oh, I was gonna say, uh, you. What did you sing for your audition? You sang. Um, this is my religion. Yeah. yeah. So I do oh, sing yeah. a little piece of that in the show. Oh, cool. Nice. So, but so, a different arrangement, you know. So. Yeah, yeah. That's All awesome. Right. 
Well, thank you so much for being thank on the show. Thank you for having me. Yes. Check yeah. out how his many, book uh, without you. How many men you? do you generally have on the podcast? Not many. You have to be very many. special to be a man. It's to get like, on the show. Yeah. It's I'm like honored. you, French Stewart. <laughs> oh, wow. <yeah>. And uh, <laughs> French Guy Stewart. Branham. Guy Branham. Guy Branham. We haven't had, yeah, we only have guys on that we like really, you know, awesome. we're like thank huge you. fans yeah. of. Or yeah. That's cool. Chat. Thank mm-hmm. you. Yeah. Thanks yeah, for doing it. Thank you. And go check out If Then. Check them out on tour. They might be coming to your city. Yeah. Go great show. If Then Musical.com, I think. Okay. If Then Musical.com. And thank you so much, Anthony. Thank you. Yay. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. Can't get enough of us? Subscribe to our Patreon for exclusive bonus content, access to our first 100 episodes, and more. Go to patreon.com slash lady to lady now to sign up. As little as a dollar a month keeps a roof over the glam cave and keeps you laughing, even when your coworkers stare. That's patreon.com slash lady to lady. And don't forget to follow us on social media. We're on Twitter and Instagram at lady to lady comedy. Join our Facebook group, Lady to Lady Podcast, to chat with other fans about episodes or even post your own lady problems. Check out our website, ladytoladycomedy.com, for show notes, videos, and merch. And duh, follow our individual accounts, Babs Gray, Brandazzle, and Testify Barker for jokes and info and where you can see us perform live. And if you want to send us snacks, stickers, or a lock of your own hair, I don't know, whatever, our P.O. Box is 412-794, Los Angeles, California, 90041. And please, leave us a review on iTunes, but only if you like us. We love you. We love you. Bye. 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 Bye.